test, testing, testing. Hey, hi, I'm a, hi, hey, hi. Hello, I'm Seth Breedlove, and this is Small Town Filmmaker. Recently, I was on a podcast with my friend Zach, who also shoots the movies we've made, and we were asked who our favorite film influences were. Specifically, that was filtered through the lens of genre film and horror. We spoke at length about horror films and who some of the directors are that we've found ourselves coming back to their work repeatedly. I brought up the fact that as a kid, I wasn't raised on the movies that were kind of coming out at the time. I grew up in the 80s at a time when Nightmare on Elm Street and Friday the 13th were ruling the box office and all the kids that I knew were watching those movies. That was the horror that they were seeing. I was growing up on The Invisible Man and Frankenstein, the Hammer Horror, The Hound of the Baskervilles, anything with Christopher Lee, Vincent Price, House on Haunted Hill. And those things terrified me in a way that was very different from the way that horror was scaring kids I was going to school with. I remember I would talk to kids in the cafeteria at school about horror and everything was about gross out factor, like what the gore was like in this movie they had just seen. I loved Frankenstein and I loved The Invisible Man and those movies scare and impact you for a different reason from the horror of the time and the horror of today. To an extent, obviously, there are directors like James Wan who's doing the Conjuring movies. There's plenty of movies that don't rely on gore today that are being made in the horror genre. It got me thinking though about other directors and other films that might be impacting small town monsters and the way I make movies today. One of my all time favorite films is David Lean's Lawrence of Arabia. Lawrence, not this. Go round Damascus, Orans. Damascus. No prisoners. Orans. This was Talal's village. I saw it for the first time when I was 17 years old and I was blown away by the width of the frame and the way every shot seemed all encompassing. And I remember seeing that movie for the first time and wanting to do that with a movie I made. I have that wide sort of framing. I haven't done it yet, but I'm hoping at some point I will be able to. That movie opened me up to other movies by David Lean, like Bridge on the River Kwai and Dr. Zhivago. And because of that, I started discovering films by guys like Billy Wilder, Michael Curtiz. I've always loved Curtiz's movies. Curtiz is like a chameleon as a director. You never realized he was the one that directed it. He made two of my all-time favorite movies, Singing in the Rain and Casablanca. Casablanca is probably my all-time favorite movie. I, I remember as a kid, I also used to love The Big Sleep and Maltese Falcon. And maybe that was because I grew up on Casablanca and I just wanted to see more of Humphrey Bogart being this tough guy who could beat the crap out of everybody. As I got older, I discovered Steven Spielberg's movies. The first one I, th I think I saw was actually Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade. Jaws has always had a huge impact on me. Directors like Spielberg are pooling from the well of Billy Wilder and David Lean and Akira Kurosawa. I don't know that I'm doing the same thing. Like I hear Spielberg talk a lot about those directors and how he's influenced by them, but I don't consciously try to instill David Lean and Billy Wilder into the movies I'm making. Like I think it has to be done, but I don't know that consciously I'm doing it. Occasionally we have a movie like the Flatwoods Monster that we just finished making, which is definitely being sort of filtered through this lens of 1950s 
sci-fi B movies. Obviously, I was pulling from some of the movies that I saw as a kid, like Them and The Blob. How do you tell, or is there a way to tell, what directors or what films are influencing you on any given project? I really have a hard time with that element of directing. We constantly are being asked who, who our biggest inspirations are. And the fact is, I just don't know. I, I saw so many movies as a kid and so many classic movies that I'm sure it's being instilled into what I'm doing today. I just would have a really hard time narrowing it down.